Good morning. Ben here with you for Studio on the Lake once again. This is the third or fourth in the tool series. Kind of a spoon gouge uh, prototype. Right, you can see I changed the design a little bit. You know, made it circular. All out of one piece. Cuts on the front and the back. Start off with some oil hardening 01 tool steel kind of roughing it out about a two and a half inch tang on this when it's all said and done nice piece of uh, cherry there for the handle we don't need a a ruler just use that tool steel it's laying right there ready to go there's the block about ready to be turned you see in the other ones that's a little sureline lathe homemade turning tool steel post on there and as you can see I went out to the shed and pulled out the micro turning tools makes life a little little easier using those as opposed to grabbing what's on hand which usually is a carving tool these work better obviously designed for that no particular design on the handle here put a little button on the end most of this was speeded up five times and uh, obviously edited fairly heavily as in the past if you want to learn about turning this is probably I'm probably not a good example for learning how to turn basic shape happy with it check make sure we got a width going there that's going to work remove that uh, tool post off onto some turners sandpaper this comes in those rolls starts at 120 grit goes up to 600 I usually skip all the middle grits so I end up with three rolls of grits in the middle that eventually I'll use at some point hardwood dowel a little bit of burnishing This burnishing makes the handle really smooth in your hand. Last, a little bit of steel wool. Finish smoothing it off. This is 4-0 uh, steel wool. The only grit I have in the shop. I don't bother with any of the others. can't see it but there's that steel wool gets pretty hot in your hand it's almost burning uh, burnishing into that and final touch with the hardwood dowel easy to finish on the lathe no boogers go ahead and finish it up this is uh, Danish Watkins oil mm, probably two coats about five minutes worth uh, let it dry on the lathe and it's dry to the touch and ready to go in about about five minutes can't complain about that there you go one handle cut it off finish up the end there time to pay attention to the tool steel section of it the stuff is in the annealed state and I wouldn't say easy to work machine ability wise but it's uh, it does machine 
drilled the hole first, set the uh, inner diameter. It's a little grizzly or Chicago, heck, I don't remember. Came from Grizzly Tools, I believe. And originally when I ordered it, I thought it was bigger looking at the photographs and it turned out to be pretty small initially I was disappointed but uh, now I'm on the second or third stone with it it works out real well for these tools it doesn't have enough power that you can burn into something but it has enough to to do the trick there's the rough shape the tang set out on it and it's designed to cut both ways one side has a fine on the back and the front Kind of a little bit of a bevel. It's going to go in about two and a half inches into that. Grab some Swiss needle files, get the shape. This still is not hardened, so you can go ahead and file down through this. After you harden it, uh, these files won't work anymore. You have to go to grits and sanding and uh, grinding and that sort of thing. It is a prototype, so I'm not going to try to make it too pretty. Time on the filing on this is probably 15 or 20 minutes in real time. And that's zoomed five ahead. Uh, needs a ferrule on the end. Cut off a piece of brass tubing. It's press fit on there, and I went ahead and did a little file work and made it smooth going into the handle, and then the buffing there for the final finish. Take the torch, you notice I got a set of magnets set up on the uh, vise there. This is supposed to get to around 1450, and it'll lose its magnetism. And it, you go just a little bit further than that. And it has lost its magnetism, so we'll go a little further. I'm trying to stay away from the fine on the end there and into the oil. As per the norm, check it after you've uh, hardened it. If a file skates off of it, it's pretty hard. I won't show you, but I went ahead and uh, annealed this. The portion that goes into the handle, uh, not the tip, and then a little bit of cleanup on a buffing wheel. Five minute two part epoxy. It's about ready to go in there. It'll go about halfway down in there, it's a tight fit, and then uh, it'll get pressed in the rest of the way. It's about as far as you can push it by hand. I'm going to go ahead and clamp on this and use the vice grips as a rest in the vise. Take the rubber hammer and set this down the other uh, half an inch, give or take. There it is, designed to take small bites. I am going to make another one of these that has a curved blade on it and show you the difference between the two of them. So thanks for watching. This has been with Studio on the Lake. Go ahead and click like, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. You know what to do.